I'm Karen Algersman on the couch in Valley celebrating farm to table couch and pasta and you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, Kevin Schrack gets a history lesson on James Bay and Paul Ballstein checks out the Naden Band. All that and much more on Go Island. Well, thank you so much for coming all the way to the Couch and Valley to celebrate farm to table food in a big way with us today. That's right, this Couch and Pasta, I wouldn't even call it the 100 mile pasta, it's probably like the 20 mile pasta. It's delicious, it is really a dream child of a chef who said, you know what, I'm gonna make hyper local pasta, something that we didn't think we could do a decade ago. But we're standing next to a farmer who knows all too well um, what it means to grow wheat here on the island. Kevin, you work at Hope Farm, which is such a beautiful place uh, where healing happens, where growth happens, including growing food. Tell us about the wheat uh, that you guys are producing there, because of course we weren't producing wheat on the island a decade ago. Yeah, so we've been uh, producing about 10 acres of wheat for the last number of years uh, and uh, growing it for local consumption, uh, the Couch and Bay Bakery, uh, the True Grain, uh, and then now more recently um, connecting with Matt and uh, he's using it in his pasta. Can you tell us a little bit about what Hope Farm uh, does. Yeah, so Hope Farm is part of the Mustard Seed, which is uh, uh, a ministry in Victoria, and uh, one of their ministries is uh, is the farm, and it's a working farm that has people, uh, men, who are looking to uh, kick addiction, come up and live with us for six months. Uh, so in the context of a working farm, uh, living, working, uh, in community, um, growing food, and uh, closing the circle because a lot of the guys that um, connect with us have used the mustard seed services and other services um, for food and uh, now are able to grow food that is being returned to, uh, to Victoria and, and uh, so it's good. Once we have the wheat, we have to turn it into, we have to mill it, turn it into something beautiful so we can make this gorgeous pasta. But first, we are going to head out to James Bay where Kevin Schrack meets a historian that takes him on a little tour. You'll get some really great ideas about the history of this area. If you would like to pick up a copy of Doreen Gee's calendar on James Bay, then you can pick it up at Monroe's Books, one of my favorite places to hang out. We are celebrating true farm to table food today in the Couch and Valley. Um, we have been talking about growing grains to turn into all sorts of beautiful things, including Couch and Bay Pasta. 10 years ago, there was really no grain growing uh, on Vancouver Island, and, and we took a leadership role in partnering with some farmers to, uh, to find out how we could grow grain on Vancouver Island and, and, and source it as close to home as possible. Tell me what you have here, and tell me about this sexy little machine here. Well, when Matt asked me to come up to, uh, to his facility, um, I couldn't bring my our full-scale mill. Yes. So I had this little uh, homemade one, which is made by the same people who make the uh, our larger mill. Yes. So for the purposes of illustration, it, uh, it is a stone mill, and it will grind the, uh, the, the one, grain for you. I want one of these for Christmas, or my birthday, which is in September, a little earlier, so you can discuss this um, amongst yourselves and how you're going to pitch in, but I, I need one of these. Okay, so tell me how this works. Well, this is uh, some grain here that, uh, that was grown at, uh, at Hope Farm uh, by Kevin. And uh, basically, this is a simple uh, stone mill. So you just pour it in the hopper, pour the grain into the hopper, this and then so the, so the, the mill the grain product will come out the bottom here. Watch this. We're blending a custom semolina, which is what this is. Okay. Uh, so you notice that it's uh, it's really rich, really rich, a little bit uh, different in texture. Yeah. And uh, that uh, goes through the uh, the pasta machine at Couch and Pasta a lot more effectively. Um, you actually want it a little to be a little bit coarser, a little bit coarser okay. than, than how this is ground. Was it a process to learn how to Absolutely. create? Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah. we're we're doing uh, wheat, we're doing uh, spelt, we're doing emmer, uh, and we're experimenting with some durum and some Corisan. Um, different uh, 
different blends for couch and pasta and you know uh, as it uh, as it changes from the field because it's not this is an engineered grain so you know we're, uh, Matt and I are working closely together as well as with James R. Miller to try and come up with uh, with the right consistency that really works for him. Farm to table uh, and made with love. We are going to meet Matt in just a moment and uh, discover how this is turned into delicious pasta but first Raji Kabli went bowling for a cause. I'm very sad to say that Raji Kabli is moving back to Toronto. That's where family lives. She's uh, going to take on some new big adventures over there, but we are going to miss her so much. Good luck, Raji. Uh, we're here uh, with Matt of Couch and Pasta. This Couch and Pasta is so farm to table, it makes me crazy. Um, and this was your vision in the beginning, right? Matt, you're a trained chef, but you decided. I've always loved cooking pasta, and yeah. it was something that I needed to get away from the kitchen to get a better hours, more family oriented hours, but not that that's helped at all because I've been working so much, but. That didn't really help. But but you had this, but you're like, why can't I make a local pasta, right? Yeah, well that's exactly what it was, is that I worked at restaurants and we could never make it 100% locally produced products, so this is exactly what we've done. It's like, we know personally know the farmer, we personally know the miller, um, I'm the producer, and then we've, through the years we've really gotten to know all our consumers from doing all the farmers markets and all that and it's been growing. The second product we do too is the, the raviolis. So we get whatever we can in season and make beautiful raviolis with it. So in a couple months or actually in a couple weeks from now we're going to be working with asparagus which is five minutes down the road from here. A um, couple weeks after that it'll be the spot prawn season so we work with uh, Greg and Ann Best from Better Seafood, um, Cowich and Bay Seafood down in Cow Bay and in the public market as well. Uh, and then like whatever we can get from the farmers. Oh, we're going to try some of the pasta in just a minute, but first we are going to take a very short break. When we come back, we are going to go on a little nature walk and discover some of the beauties of spring. begin with this new business you've opened up here in Couch and Bay. Who are you and what do you guys do here? So we're Cure Artisan Meat and Cheese and that's exactly what we do. We do meat and cheese in an artisan fashion. Yeah. So really what we're trying to do is bring back the uh, traditional uh, old way of curing meats, smoking meats in the charcuterie aspect. Yeah. And a lot of yeah. people hear that big French word charcuterie and they go, oh my goodness. What does like, that mean? What does that mean? Well literally it means cured meats, smoked meats. So we do hams here, we do bacon, uh, we also so uh, make a lot of our own sausages, of course. So anything from lamb margais with local lamb right through to uh, duck and sage sausage. So it kind of depends. You have to come here. It's in the complex just off of the highway where the uh, country grocer is on Couch and Bay Road. Just turn off, come in here. As soon as you walk in and you look around, you will start to drool. And uh, I know that I loved eating your food when you had Amuse, when you were working at um, uh, Cherry Point. And it's so exciting to see you launch here. But one of the things I love is your relationship with Couch and Pasta um, because you can order some pasta when you come here. Tell me a little bit about that. Sure, it's fantastic. Uh, Matt Horn and Couch and Pasta moving in with us here at Cure and that's exactly what we're going to be doing and we're actually calling it the Couch and Pasta box. I love you know, that. in a way kind of playing <laughs> on a box of pasta. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that's exactly what we're going to be doing is making different pastas. Pasta carbonara with some of our bacon of course and uh, also a pasta bolognese uh, with some of uh, the spaghetti of course from uh, couch and pasta in a box it's gonna be served in the box so it's kind of kind of neat that way it's so. kind of fun yeah well that's you know that's really where foods headed it has to be fun and you know it's part of that whole experience of going out and having fun and it doesn't have to be super fine dining necessarily anymore no. but it has to be fun and it has to taste good yeah. and to make it taste good you have to start with really good local ingredients that's the key my friends that's the key I am going to try some in just a moment for your sake of course uh, but we are we are now going to head out with Paul Ballstein to check out what the Naden Band is up to. Okay, this has been such a treat to hang out with the butcher, the baker, and uh, the pasta maker. Really, truly farm to table food. Um, tell us what, we're, what we have over here. So in the far end here, you have a uh, little bit of the Crest of the Gallo um, from Couch Pasta, and that has a cream sauce with some of uh, the local Betis blue cheese on there. 
Oh my word. That's ins insane. I wish you could try some. I, I know. You can come here and try some. Um, when are you open? When's Cure open? Yes, they're open seven days a week and 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. during the week and 10 a.m. to 5 on the weekends. Come, you can get a couch and pasta box. You can also buy the pasta here. And of course, couch and pasta is available in lots of places. Go to the couch and pasta website and find out where you can get some. And it really is the easiest meal, isn't it? Because all you do is boil it, add some friends, and you're happy to go, right? That's right. Okay, and we thank have you. Sauce too. And we have sauce. This sauce? You don't need to cook dinner, but throw flour on your face and clothing so your family thinks that you did it yourself. Thank you all so much, not only for hanging out with me today, but for all you do. You have brought um, this idea of really knowing your farmer, knowing where your food comes, uh, back to Vancouver in such a beautiful and delicious way. And I thank you for it. It means so much to everyone who lives here. And I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J.